Uh, welcome to Best Car Fixes. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have 2011 Ford F150. This car battery is draining, and uh, the door, you know, the door, I mean, the door ajar is working all the time. You know, like, uh, you know, we have a switch here. Where did that switch? No, we have a switch that you know like uh, it show that whenever the door is open or the do door is closed but our problem here is that uh, the door the left side left rear door ajar is open it show that the door is open even if the door is closed it's open so let's confirm that and then we're gonna see how does it work or what is the visual inspection one of the reason Okay, I don't want to renew now. One of the reasons why this happening, let me go here and I go to diagnose. I got to go by VIN number. It is two reasons, two things that you need to look for. The first one, it could be this Ford American car. It could be the the, the jump, you know, like the, the the door panel, you know, like the, where the door is closed. It could, the wire can break there. And then it will create an open this is normally open switch on the door it is normally open switch as soon as you close the door it contact and send ground to the body control module whether it's there or here to tell the, the body control module that door are closed function of door lock unlock also depend on it so now f150 5.0 liter i would say yes and we are going to check at least the body control module, radio, FM, AM, FM radio, CD navigation system. I believe this is FM with a CD. So I'm going to show this one. Even if you don't choose it, it at least it will work. Now, uh, I just want to do a, di a diagnostic, but my concern is go to diagnose and then go to control unit, check and this will uh, body control module this one will do, will uh, will create a battery drain because the voltage drain is going to be there as long as interior light command to be on and killing the battery so let me see code if there's any code If there is a code, it's easy, but if there is no code, that is where things are crazy. Now the door is closed. The computer is checking the function of the car. You see, turning the light on, all this stuff. It's supposed to be door, all door, driver side rear door ajar switch. The code is B11 Charlie. B130 hood switch. Entry light out, out going. So if you notice here, we have P11C0. You say driver side rear door ajar switch. It's already look at it and find there is a problem. You also hood switch. The hood is open. So we need to be sure that hood switch also have a problem. Interior light output, left stop lamp turn, path, key in switch, transceiver. There is a lot of codes. But the more important is battery voltage. So I'm going to escape this one here. I'm going to try to erase this code and see what's going on again. Erase all the codes. Say yes. Yes. Because all the doors look closed. Read code again. The speed limit is 80. Still I have the message left rear door ajar. Because all the doors are closed. It's supposed to not to be... You see now I have a driver side door ajar switch and hood switch. Let me go to the hood, maybe I left the hood open. And then we come to the door switch. Yes. Okay, the hood is open, if you notice here. That's why he gave me a coat. So what I'm gonna do is I will close it. I 
call us the hood. Let me now go and see if I will eliminate that one. Still, I have left rear door ajar is on, and I have two coats here. So I'm gonna try to escape here and erase these coats. So yes. Okay, all the code being successfully. I'm gonna read it again. I want to see how many code I have. I supposed to get only one code. You see, now we have driver side rear door ajar. Driver side rear door ajar. So we're gonna go look at the wiring diagram. Location, how does it function? Okay, I'm gonna go to the wiring diagram. I use Identifix if you wanna buy a subscription from them or any wiring diagram company that it help you understand how this function. So we're gonna go to the office and check that one. If you notice here, this is the body control module and this is the left rear door ajar switch. So it's open all the time. If the door is closed, it's supposed to connect this ground to the switch. The switch is a small piece that's mounted on the inside the door, on the door latch. Let me show you how it looks like. The switch looks something like this. You see, like this. And it's mounted inside the door here, in this door ajar switch, in this switch. If you see here, it's supposed to be mounted somewhere. Let me show you. Maybe around, I'm not sure it's here. I'm not sure, but you already have the idea where that piece is, where that piece is mounted. But here is the idea. And if you look at this place here, you can see it's supposed to be mounted on a, on a door, door ajar switch, whether it's the left or right, um, especially in the bottom here, in the corner. This is maybe the, the right side door, but it is on, on the bottom of the door, but it looks like this. Just have an idea, it looks like this. So you put it inside the door and it twist it, and then it has power and ground. If you close the door, it gives ground back to the body control module. If you open it, if you open the door, it's normally open. So this is the switch that mounted in, in this door latch, like this here. I'm not sure, but I just give you the idea. It's supposed to be somewhere in this area that is sitting somewhere here. Maybe in this place here. Maybe here, but it is, it is mounted in this area. Just have an idea. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go here. I will open the I will open this door completely and then I will open the other door close this then I will go here check the wires you see it could be one of those wires visually here all the wire look good so I'm gonna close this one here and I will also I have to open yeah put it back this wire here is good. So I'm gonna look where this door close. You know, like the door ajar is supposed to be here. Here. And when you close it, it close and it, it's push the switch back to contact and eliminate it. Now, where is this go inside? This go in the strike. The strike is supposed to be here. Okay, now you see here what the problem is. This piece here is broke. We don't have nothing sitting here. So definitely we need something like this here on the top. I'm gonna show you on the other side. If I open this one, okay, it's locked. As I told you, this is F, FX4, F150. So let me unlock the door. Then I'm gonna show you what I, I'm gonna open this one. Usually this door open here. And I will open this here. 
What happened now? Maybe I did not open it two time. It's not opening. Maybe something happened to it. Okay. If it doesn't open, I don't have no problem. But usually there is a maybe the door lock is no good because usually there is a latch there the same way that I show in the bottom. So the strike there is broken. So that striker is, is, is I'm gonna push this one back, you see. I lock it. I lock it, I consider like a lock, okay? Because there is nothing here to hold. And even if you push it here, there is nothing to pull it out. So I'm gonna consider it as a lock because that look that could be one of the problems. I consider that is locked, the door is locked. And now I am going to see. First, I want to see the value. The value of the door it was open door. So I gotta go. Let me try to clear it first. I gotta go back. First, I gotta read. I gotta read the quotes. I'm sure this time there will be no quotes. Still, I have a left rear door ajar. It's gone. Left rear door ajar. It disappeared. But let me see now one more. Left rear, left rear door ajar. Maybe I didn't close it well. It's okay. Let me try to go and push it correctly. Okay. I was able to... I'm reading this one here. Let me close. Let me erase this code again. I'm gonna erase it and see if that door, if that code is gonna come back again. Let me turn the ignition on. Okay, say okay. Clear the codes. Left, left rear door ajar is still there. left rear door ajar is still there so let me show you something um, dad there is nothing to hold that door inside I'm gonna check the data for this okay driver rear sliding door ajar hood ajar Driver door, driver door unlock, driver, driver door ajar switch is closed. So let me open it. You see, you say ajar. Ajar means it's open. I close it, you close. This is good. If you see ajar, See left rear door ajar. Left rear door, left rear door, left rear door ajar. You see here, it says ajar. So that means it's there. This one we have a problem here. Passenger door ajar, closed. Right rear door, close. Let me show you here. Okay, this is close. I'm gonna choose a couple of them. Choose this one. If you see close there, let me know. Passenger door, close. Okay, I need a passenger, passenger door ajar. Passenger door. Passenger door ajar. Left 
باسنجر دور اجار لفت ريير دور اجار واي ذا باسنجر دور از اجار مسينا موس ريسن الارم تريجر دا ذس الارم تريجر الارم تريجر Okay, let me see what I'm looking for. for. Who the jar close? Driver door interior lock switch. Driver door lock. Third most recent alarm trick. That's not my problem. Okay. I just choose like uh, driver door ajar, left rear door ajar, passenger door. I don't need this one. Okay, you see here, I have passenger door, ajar is closed, left rear door is open, hood ajar is closed, passenger door ajar, right rear door ajar. This is good, passenger, passenger door ajar, I don't need this one here. Leave this one here. Okay, right rear door. Okay, this is a statue. I don't need the statue. So now I have the hood, driver door, passenger door, left rear, right rear. You see, those are the number I am looking for. Okay. Those are the number. I'm, those are even the hood. I don't need it. Even the hood. I don't need it. So now we have driver door, driver door, passenger door, two, left rear, right rear. This close, this close, this close, this ajar. See it here? So we have to deal with this one. We know, we know, we know for sure mechanically there is something wrong inside. So our job now is to look at this situation. What we need to do? Either we have to build that piece with sod or something and let it work, or we have to see if we can close it by jumping the two wires to be closed all the time. If I can get the two wire and jump it, because by pushing it, I got, or I gotta try to see if I can push it hard, because after it, after you close the door, something have to reset on it, which means more pressure. If we don't have that one, it will never work. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna try to push this one more. I push it all the way, I close it. You know, I close this one completely. Uh, it now, you see, I close this one. So, the left rear door ajar switch is closed, you see, it's closed. If I open it from here, If I open it from here, it will not open because there is nothing push him back. See now, I push it back and it's open. So I'm gonna push it back again. I push it back completely, it's closed. So the only remedy for now, either you have to put this striker in or you have to push it. Right now you see like it's closed. But you see the driver door is ajar. So what I'm gonna do is, the customer have to be sure that anytime you open this door, let me see if I open it, what's gonna happen now? Nothing happened. Still closed. 
So that anytime for any reason, if that door is open, now for any reason, if that door is not fixed or if it's open, you need to use something like a flip screwdriver or a, a flat head something and try to close it manually uh, to simulate that the door is closed and it will fix the problem right now everything is close close and I believe now if I go back to the code the history code that I have it it will not be there you see now everything there is no message there And that code will not be here. Please subscribe, share, and like. You see no code detected. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Ejus. Thank you.